Introduction to Decimus Burton Serendipity played a part in the beginning of Tunbridge Wells when in 1606 a Dudley Lord North discovered a rust-tainted stream a few miles from Eridge. Taking some water back to London for analysis, it was found to contain minerals beneficial to health. He advised his friend, Lord Abergavenny, who owned the land, to open up the spring into a brick structure where people might take the waters. Having royal patronage, Dudley soon encouraged courtiers and others to gather there in the summer months. Thus started a royal connection which continued up to the 20th century when sea bathing had gradually taken over from the spas in popularity. During the 17th century inns, stores and public places were built to cater for the ever increasing crowds. A small hamlet took shape until the fire in 1676 destroyed most of it. Then a planned straight line of properties were built up to the well with a portico in front. These consisted of dwelling houses, an assembly hall and better quality shops. In 1708, a bathhouse was built at Rust Hall using waters from the rocks. The area was said to be adorned with unusual fountains to amuse the visitors. Into the 18th century, and landowners are building small terrace cottages to rent out, while others at the Wells need a director of entertainment to organise them. The most famous of these being Richard Bonash, who also officiated at Bath. Larger properties began to emerge for the aristocracy with smaller dwellings for their servants, and this needed and attracted architects and builders alike. One of these, James Halliburton, a lowland Scotsman, who shortened his name to Burton, had become by the end of the 18th century a sought-after builder. His tenth child, Decimus, was born in 1800.